Apollo 11, 15 July, 1969, Cape Kennedy, Florida, the night before the great day. Six million pounds of machine, 36 stories tall. Nearly 10 years work of half a million people. While the night of celebration was ending, the day began for the astronauts. Breakfast, medical examination, suiting up. Armstrong, Commander Apollo 11. Edwin Buzz Aldrin, Lunar Module Pilot. Michael Collins. Command module pilot. Propellant load pressure and temperature. Digital transmission worldwide tracking. Stabilization and guidance. Radio frequency telemetry and voice communications. Signal conditioner integration. Spacecraft electrical power. Flight control. S4B propulsion stage monitoring. S1C, S2 propulsion stage. Every important valve, gauge, and circuit was continually monitored at Launch Control Center throughout the 28-hour countdown. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned, and all is still go as we monitor our status for it. Firing command coming in now. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. Two minutes, 10 seconds, and counting. Oxidizer tanks in the second and third stages now have pressurized. T minus one minute, 35 seconds. The third stage completely pressurized. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We passed T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong reported back when he received the good wishes. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good flight. Good luck and Godspeed. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. Six.
Houston, thrust is go. All engines, you're looking good. Hey, Roger, you're loud and clear. You... Two minutes, 41 seconds. Time to throw Apollo 40 miles up into the sky, and then an empty shell to fall back into the sea. service module separated and turned around to dock with Eagle the lunar module. Apollo 11, this is Houston, how do you read? Apollo 11, this is Houston, radio check over. Roger, Roger. Uh, Roger. we're copying you about uh, five by two, very weak. Can you give us a status report, please? computer called Disky, which solved problems and helped with a long sequence of systems checks and data exchange with Earth. Houston, Apollo 11, uh, star 40 has just disappeared now in the uh, section. Could the uh, trunnion angle 47, something be a little high? Stand by. Hello, Apollo 11, Houston, uh, we'd like you to press on to star 44, over. Yeah, right here, right here. They found their way across the sea of space navigating by the same stars that guided Columbus to shores unknown. 11 Houston, we copy. Two good marks, over. Okay. No up or down, no day or night. Only the slow creeping of the harsh sunlight through the windows as the spacecraft rotates to keep from getting too hot on one side, too cold on the other. They carried with them the biological day of the Earthling. Three meals, a snack or two, eight hours of sleep. Time to work, time to relax, time to reflect. Three days falling upward to the moon. Look down, look down. That fragile bubble of life float on a sea of nothing. Spaceship Earth. Zero, 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 nine or eight. Plus. Correction, zero, zero, five, seven, two. Perigee, plus, zero, 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 eight, five. Zero, zero, seven, six, four. Zero, three, zero. Zero, 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 two, niner, three. Noun 86, minus, zero, zero, seven, five, niner. Eagle, Houston, we, Houston, we see you on the stair, Blover. Roger, Eagle, I'm got. Roger, 
Roger, how does it look? The Eagle has wings. Roger. The Eagle has wings. On its own now, but with Columbia near at hand, it coasted around to the back side of the moon, and there, while out of direct communication with the Earth, it fired its engine to slow its descent to a touchdown on the near side of the moon. Collins in Columbia continued in orbit, awaiting their return. Okay, all flight controllers, go now, go for landing. Retro. Go. Lido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're a go for landing. Over. I can understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. You're looking great. How you doing, Control? We look good here. Fine. Uh, how about you, Telcom? Go. Guidance, you happy? Go. Fido. Go. 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Into the ag. 47 degrees. Roger. 37 degrees. It's still looking very good. Your go. Top alarm. 1201 alarm. 1201 alarm. Same type, we're go flight. Okay, we're go. We're go, same type, we're go. Altitude 1600. Eagle looking great. Roger 1202, we copy it. 35 degrees, 750, coming down at 23. 540 feet, down at 15. 10 and 50 feet, down at 4. Altitude, velocity, light. Down, 220 feet. Seven forward, come down nicely, 200 feet. Four and a half down, five and a half down. 100 feet, three and a half down, nine forward. 875 feet, that's looking good, down a half. Six forward, 60 seconds. Lights on, forward, forward. 40 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust. Great shadow. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked uh, getting back up to that first step. Uh, it's, uh, that isn't collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. Pretty good little jump. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb footbeds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches, uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine-grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Ground mass uh, is very fine. I'm going to step off the limb. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. all its own. It's uh, like m much of the high desert of uh, the United States. It's uh, different, but it's very pretty out here. Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. You're in our field of view now. Okay, okay. ready for me to come out? All set. Okay, I'm on the top step. It's a very simple matter to hop down from one step to the next. You've got three more steps and then a long one. Okay, I'm going to leave that one foot up there and uh, both hands down about the fourth rung up. There you go. Okay, now I think I'll do the same. A little more. Got another inch. There you got it. That's a good step. Something? Magnificent sight out here. 
magnificent ventilation. Tyler is pouring on the fine powder, isn't it? Isn't it fine? Hey, Neil, didn't I say we might see some purple rocks? Find the purple rocks? Yep. Very small, sparkly uh, fragments. Buzz is erecting the solar wind experiment now. Every precious minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected, photographs taken, experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun, to record moon quakes, to measure precisely by laser beam reflection the exact distance between moon and earth. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Houston, Columbia, on the gate, over. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes. <laughs> five miles above the moon's surface, Michael Collins completed an orbit every two hours. He listened to the progress of the moonwalk and awaited the moment when his companions on the surface would lift off to rendezvous with him. Within this strange ship, two astronauts and a treasure triple-sealed vacuum boxes of rocks and soil from the surface of the moon. Locked within these rocks were secrets of the ages to be studied and deciphered by the scientists of Earth. The age of the moon the age of the sun, how the moon was formed, how life began. Was there ever life on the moon? Was the moon once molten and volcanic, or has it always been cold and dead? Was it once part of the Earth? Or was it a wandering planet captured by the Earth eons ago? How hot was the sun three billion years ago? Armstrong and Aldrin, with their precious load of moon rocks, had transferred to Columbia. The faithful eagle, its task completed, could be cut adrift. Columbia fired out of lunar orbit to begin its three-day fall back to Earth, where the recovery fleet was waiting for its splashdown in the Pacific. July 24th, the Hornet was on station. 
Hornet reports a sonic boom a short time ago. Apollo 11 Houston in the blind, uh, Air Boss has a visual contact. Apollo 11 Houston through Araya, standing by. Over. Drove. Apollo 11, this is Hornet, Hornet, over. Apollo 11, this is Apollo 11, reach your last core. Our position 1330, 